pregnant again. I tell you, we get to lock her up one Saturday night. Comfortable, Fred. On my way. All I need is a brew and a good scratch. Which one you want to do first? Oh, it does my heart good to see you relaxing after a hard day at the quarry. I'm telling you, I married the pick of the litter. <laughs> Fred, our garbage disposal's been acting up a lot lately, so I decided that it was time to buy a new one. But when I went to take money out of our savings account, guess what? New garbage disposal? New garbage disposal? Why throw good money down the drain? There's nothing wrong with this one. All right, you. Say ah. <laughs> Do you have any idea why there's no money in our savings account? Aha! There's your problem right there. All right, you spit it out. Where's the money, Fred? Something happened to it. There, I said it. We have scrimped and saved for that money. And every time we get a little bit ahead, you have to go blow it on some harebrained scheme. Now, see here, Wilma. In this cave, I am the king. And... And what, Fred? And you have every right to know, my queen. I gave it to Barney. You what? I know I should have consulted you. But Barney Rubble's my neighbor, my lodge brother, and my best friend since the first time I went through the fifth grade. Fred Flintstone. Wilma, without that money, they wouldn't be allowed to adopt a baby. So go ahead, yell, scream, let the fur fly, give the neighbors something to talk about! What you have just done for the Rubbles is the sweetest, most generous thing I ever heard. And I adore you for it. I also bought a new bowling ball. <laughs> 